Leviathan here, as you can tell, I was <laughs> spat on again. It's obviously not the first time it's happened, nor will it be the last. So a lot of people have been asking to hear the backstory. There isn't any, so today I'm just going to share what happened and what this entire experience means. So let's go for a cruise and <laughs> talk about being spat on. Did I get something on the camera? There is something you all should know about spitting. In Canada, it's actually a criminal offense to spit on someone. In fact, it's actually considered to be assault and punishable by up to five years in prison. But those rules obviously don't apply to someone spitting on a car. Or at least I don't think so. I know what you're thinking, there must be some sort of backstory. No way would someone just go up to a random car and spit on it. Well, how's this for a backstory? I go out for a drive with a friend of mine. We stop at Brickworks just to get some fresh air and appreciate the views. Next thing I know, I come back to my car and I realize that my driver's side window is drenched. The first thought that usually comes to mind is, did someone spit on me? I immediately discount this theory and automatically assume it's either some tree sap or some isolated showers on that side of my car. Then when I went home, just to go through some of the footage, I see a man approach the car and then I hear some sounds in the background which sounds like two loads of <laughs> and my passenger side was pretty drenched. So not only was I spat on, but I was spat on twice. That is a lot of hate. He really wanted to make a point and unleash all of his saliva on my car. And did I do anything to deserve it? Well, you tell me. I parked in the very back corner, in between the lines, and I went for a walk. I was actually relieved that he didn't scratch up my car because there's really nothing stopping him from doing so. Because obviously that's something which would not be as easy to wipe off as saliva. So what did I learn from this experience? Well, the truth is I learned absolutely nothing. Subconsciously, however, it just makes me have a much stronger guard which isn't something I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to share this car and my experiences with everyone. It really comes to show you how much hate there is in people's hearts. And you always wonder why I'm so anxious when I'm driving, especially in the city, because I have no idea how people are gonna react. Yes, it's very important to have thick skin when you drive around a supercar, as you've seen from my reactions. But then again, if you start to think about it, you realize that there's a lot of hatred behind some of these reactions and it does start to get to you. So there you have it. That is the entire story of what happened. As boring as it may seem, there's nothing that really prompted him to spit on my car other than the fact that he just didn't like it. Let's, however, end on a positive note. Despite all of these hideous and horrible reactions, it doesn't compare or take away from the overall experience of driving a supercar. I still love every moment I'm inside it. It makes me happy and I just love the emotion I get when I drive. So I'm gonna have some fun. Thanks for watching, until next time.